When designing and manufacturing plastic parts, Autodesk's digital prototyping solution has you covered. We've been tasked with manufacturing the brush guard of this VMAC tractor, so let's take a look at it in simulation mold flow. Before we begin our study, we must first secure our data. This can easily be accomplished by using the Vault toolbar within Simulation Mold Flow. With the data securely uploaded, it's now time to check our study out from the Vault. This will prevent other users from simultaneously making modifications and allow us to begin work on our study. Our study has been checked out and we can begin our analysis. We've been instructed to reduce the part weight and material consumption during processing. Therefore, we'll use gas assist injection molding by adding gas injection sites here and here. Let's take a look at our preliminary results. It looks like we've done a very good job reducing the weight of the part, though with a few modifications, we can do much better. We can start by modifying some process settings. By decreasing the VP switchover from 85% to 75%, we should be able to get a lot more gas into the part. We'll also move the gas injection sites closer to the gates. This should help us to prevent any blowouts. With our modifications complete, we can begin our second analysis. With our second analysis complete, we can see that our gas penetration has significantly improved, though we should compare this side by side with the results from our previous study. Through this side-by-side -side comparison, we can see that the gas penetration has significantly improved on the second study. Therefore, this will be the ideal choice for processing. With our analysis complete, we can now return our study back to the vault using the vault toolbar within simulation mold flow.